Hey! Woo! Hey, how's everyone going today? Good! Good! Are you guys excited for Christmas break? Yeah! Well, I know I'm certainly not. <laughs> Last Christmas was the worst. I got a Wii for Christmas. I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious? I got a Wii. Am I seriously that fat? Do I need to do some Wii sports? <laughs> the character was much better than two years ago when I got a connect. I was so excited. This new Kinect thing comes out. Make, I spent two hours making a character, literally. And then, so when I finish, I click save and it says auto auto adjust. And it makes my guy like an elephant. I can barely see my character on the on the screen. How am I supposed to play two players now? <laughs> that was a real real pain though. Other than that, we are singing the last song. You know, and uh, yeah. So, um, by the way, Santa Claus, for, uh, for Arabs, he doesn't come on Christmas. He either comes the day after Christmas, because he gets the prices. <laughs> and also, <laughs> sometimes it takes him a year to deliver, because the more expensive it is, you know, he needs to save some cash, this guy. He doesn't, he doesn't keep making money, this guy. Uh, I'll tell you, one of my favorite parts of Christmas is making Christmas cookies. These things are the bomb. Honestly, we make our cookies 99% hot sauce. Because <laughs> this is the reason why. So, when you put hot sauce, Santa Claus takes a bite, then he drinks all his milk quicker, he gets so thirsty, and then he runs out of the house so that an Arab doesn't catch him when he's in the house, or else something's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and for all of you that don't know what lahme or lahme, as most of you say it, it's meat, an Arab, and uh, uh, meat is amazing, whether it's cooked or not cooked, that, that's not the point right now. Uh, so when you think of Arabs, what comes to mind? Bombs and... <laughs> Am I right? Well, you got the... the part right. You got the bomb, and I'll tell you this. Okay? Bombs is total. Okay, okay, first of all, has anyone ever seen a Lebanese guy holding a bomb? No. Yes. <laughs> you sit back down, sir. Okay. Well, I don't think so. Bombs remind me of this one one guy. Uh, he got a funny English accent. His name is Mark, right? <laughs> this guy is hilarious. Look at him. He's got a. Uh, he speak and then it was funny. You remind me of camels for some reason. I don't even know what a camel's ex expression looked like, but his face. <laughs> it was funny. It was hilarious. Uh, yeah, and uh, but that's not the point right now. After that, uh, sometimes he pretends to act like whenever we speak about bombs and stuff. Try to act like a bomb bomber, but instead he he would uh, he'd walk, it looked like if you actually look at him and videotape him, I, I, all I saw was a camel walking in circles. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So my school uh, my school bus is full of like was full of ninety percent Egyptians, yeah. and the other ten percent is like a bunch of white kids and me. Right? <laughs> So, um, my first day of high school, I'm going, and then all you see, I see this one kid, and uh, I'm not sure, but his name was like Gabby or something, and he made me mad. And so, I told him I hate you, and let's just say it wasn't a pretty uh, sight, because when you tell some guy I hate you, an Egyptian, he would just stand up. And then the whole bus would stand up. What did you say? I love you guys. Uh, that's, the, that's the last thing I want to be in. Man, that's scary. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll never mess with a pack of Arabs again. Uh, oh yeah, and that reminds me of the time uh, when one person slash said a joke towards your mom. And uh, let's just say it's the least funny thing to say towards any Arab because it's really insultive, and we do not joke about these. <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're a normal white kid or any kid at school, 
you'd be like, you'd be so scared because you have no idea what's gonna happen to you next time you do it. Like, she would dance. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I think that's the reason why Arabs, sometimes I have many friends, because the fact that myths of bombs, like carrying bombs and stuff, and uh, getting threatened, all the threats we gave them, probably scared them off. Uh, yeah, the funny thing about the myths were that my dad, he was chill, and he made fun of things like this, but one scary thing about, the thing about him was, he had like a monster on each side of his arm, so you'd look at him and you'd be like, oh my god, <laughs> surrender. <laughs> this guy was scared, but uh, if he was in a fight, I'd be on his side because he's much, uh, be more, will, uh, he'd be more of a winner than a uh, Loser, I feel bad for the other guy because he definitely lose. Uh, yeah, because he like works out like every day, and um, my dad was a pretty scary guy to be looked at. He's like one of those guys in video games, you know, where you have like hats, and then he, he's like obese, and then he's, he just has like unlimited health, he never dies. <laughs> Not even joking. But uh, yeah, so now the good old days. Now some funny jokes. Oh wait, that time I gotta go by. What? <laughs> <laughs>